Hello everyone. Welcome to Startech JK quiz number 5. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I am Dutrisha from GK today and I will be taking you through this. Which among the following movements started with breaking the SALT law? SALT March or Dandi March was a 2016 non-violent march led by Mahatma Gandhi. It lasted from 12 March 1930 to 6 April 1930 as a direct action campaign of tax resistance and non-violent protest against the British salt monopoly. It gained worldwide attention which gave impetus to the Indian independence movement and started the nationwide civil disobedience movement. So the answer is option B, civil disobedience movement. Who among the following was the socialist leader who ran away from the Hazari Bagh prison and joined the Quit India movement? The Quit India movement was launched by Mahatma Gandhi in August 9, 1942 and was the final assault of Indian nationalism on the citadel of British imperialism. More than 91,000 people were arrested and over a thousand lost their lives in police and military firing. During this period when the anti-British movement was raging throughout the country, Jay Prakash Narayan made a successful escape bid from Hazari Bagh Central Jail in 1942? So the correct answer is Jay Prakash Narayan. Uh, some trivia. Later, along with Mrs. Aruna Asaf Ali and other socialists, he organized an underground movement to harass the British rulers. He was again arrested in Punjab at the end of September 1943 and he was tortured uh, for the name of his uh, uh, accomplices. But he suffered in silence and in the end, uh, the British had to give up and release him. The reluctant British Viceroy, Lord Wevel, in 1946, in response to a personal appeal by Mahatma Gandhi, had to release Jay Prakash Narayan. Who among the following were known as Tokarians? So Tokarians were Indo-European people who inhabited the medieval oasis city-states on the northern edge of the Tarim Basin, which is uh, modern the China. Uh, these are often identified by modern scholars with use of Chinese historical accounts. Uh, these are the people who founded the Kushan Empire. So the answer is option A, Kushans. Two schools, that is Mathura School of Art and Gandhara School of Art, flourished in which among the following era? And the answer is questions. Who among the following defeated Harshavardhana on the banks of River Narmada? So Harshavardhana was defeated by Chalukya King Pulakeshan II in circa 615 AD on the banks of River Narmada. This was actually the most notable military achievement of Polakeshin and it ended influence of Harsha from south of Narmada river and established this river as boundary between Uttar Pratha and Dakshin Pratha. So the correct answer is Polakeshin 2. Which among the following two cities were joined by Saraki Azam or precursor of the Grand Trunk Road built by Sher Shah Suri and the correct answer is Agra to Sasuram. Which among the following was located on the banks of Tungabhadra river? So, um, the correct answer for this is uh, Vijayanagar. So, Harihara 1 and Vyukka 1 in the year 1336 established the Vijayanagar empire on the banks of the river Tungabhadra. In which of the following cities of India, uh, is the first complete granite temple in the world located. So uh, the first complete granite temple is in the world is Brihadishwara temple which is also known as Raja Rajeshwaram and it's a Hindu temple dedicated to Shiva. It is located in Tanjore in Tamil Nadu. Who among the following was placed on the throne of Nawab of Bengal? after the Battle of Baksar. The so Battle of Baksar happened between the then Nawab of Bengal, Mirkasin. In this, Mirkasin was overthrown by the British and this battle was fought on 22nd of October 1764. So before Mirkasin, um, Mir Jafar, his uh, father-in-law, was the Nawab of Bengal 
who had again helped the British to defeat uh, Sirajatullah and uh, gain the throne. Now, once Mir Qasim uh, was defeated, Mir Jafar again gained control of the throne. He was installed as Nawab in 1764 and held this position until his death in 1765. So, the correct answer is option C, Mir Jafar. Which of the following Mughal emperors is known to be a very good player of Veena? Uh, so, Aurangzeb was an accomplished Veena player. However, he had banished singing from his courts, but he hadn't banished playing musical instruments. Music in all forms continued to be patronized by his queens, and the largest number of books on classical music were translated into Persian during his reign. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.